welcome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming. Yes. Thank you and good afternoon. Uh, I, I, I introduce myself a little bit so you know where I come from. Uh, I come from Thailand, of course, but uh, I was a movie star when I was young. Uh, I didn't like the movie. A lot of you guys want to go into movies. I tell you, you talk to me. I didn't like the movies, so I produced for television. And um, people say, beautiful people for television. I say, no, uh, brain is better than beauty. So I use intelligent actors who are very ugly. <laughs> and all my um, episodes were doing so well uh, that now it's a trend that anybody can go into television. You don't have to be beautiful, but you have to have brain. But anyway, after a while, I didn't like television either because uh, <laughs> there's not many interesting people to talk to. Uh, if you like gossiping, sex education or something like that, then it's a good place for you, but uh, not, not for me. Um, so I thought about doing theater and um, it's no need to build a theater. A theater is everywhere. So a theater started, my theater, Patravati's theater started in the parking lot, you know, using the door of my office that is beautiful and the trees around there as, um, as a set. And uh, no roof, it was raining. Um, but nobody left. Even the actors, they don't leave. Uh, it was a lot of fun to see a play in the rain and sitting in the rain soaking wet and be part of it. Anyway, it was such an experience. Later, I have the roof because uh, uh, the rain destroyed a lot of my equipment. <laughs> so, but... Um, it was self-funded because Thailand doesn't believe in art education. They think people who are actresses and musicians, they are undesirable people. Um, parents always say never to become an actress. <clears throat> but my mother, she was my great fan, so she supported me to, to have my education in Los Angeles and later in New York and everywhere. And um, my king, I have to say thank you to my king. He encouraged me and supported me, not, not with much money, but with a heart and, and the attention. Um, and one year I didn't submit any uh, project and he asked, why not? I was 60 at that time and I thought I would retire so I told him I would do education, art in education, for the rest of my life. So that's why I'm still here. I'm almost 70 now. Patravati Theatre was doing well, raising young people, giving them opportunities to continue in their education according to their uh, preference and skills. And we have raised a lot of national artists and um, backstage people, light designers. And one day it was flooded, I think in 2008. The water comes over the stage and it was very flooded. And um, I smiled. People thought I would be crying. But you know, once you do a lot of theater, once you um, theater is a place where you solve problems. You know, when you see reality in life. Uh, that's why theater is great for education. Theater is great for um, teaching kids how to look at life, how to look at people, how to live with reality. 
So I say, well, it's flooded. So I moved. I moved to Hua Hin, which is a resort town about two hours from Bangkok. Um, it is a very popular place, and there are many palaces of my kings because the air is beautiful. And I thought it's the best place to raise uh, young people. And um, there are five universities there and many schools. So it's a small place with, it's a hub of education. But nobody talked to each other. They're all doing their own things. And um, I thought, you know, now the theater is flooded. So I should use my theater people and the knowledge I have in the theater to raise children to do anything, not just theater. Um, and uh, it has been successful because the people who graduated from my school, they go into economy, doctor, science, chef, you know, they do anything. F few go into design and acting and music because I, I encourage them not, not to go into theater or anything because going to theater is poor. You know, you're not gonna make anything. You work so hard and it's poor. Uh, if, you, if God condemned you to work hard and be poor, then you go to theater. But if not, you know, if you have a choice, do something else, but use the art to create, you know, to, 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 uh, to, to live well. You know, not, not greedy, but live well. Anyway, i show you a little bit about the school. Um, so you see what it's about. Okay, it's a normal school and we teach um, uh, eight subjects like other people, science, math, uh, English, uh, Thai, social education. Um, and we have kids from kindergarten to high school. And, but we use the art in almost every subject to, to help them with a learning skill. And most of my teachers are artists, very prominent artists, but they have very good education in, in, the, in the field that they teach. So uh, they are great teachers because they entertain the kids all the time. So I think artists are great teachers because the, the kid never sleep. You know, they, they pay attention and we always have activities for them to, to learn instead of just doing boring homeworks. Uh, and we also teach all kinds of things because we are a boarding school. We teach all kinds of things um, until Saturday. We work, we, we study from eight to six every day, including Saturday. Um, agriculture, everything, you never know what they're going, they want to be. And if they, they say they want to learn something, I will find a friend who's a skillful teacher to, to teach them. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that, thank you, Danny, for introducing me to so many uh, interesting friends who has been teaching there. Uh, last year was um, the Indian master, was his name, um, Krish, Krishna, some that I, we met in Nanjing, he was there teaching, and Kanop, George Kanop, and um, um, uh, Mansha was Mansha, teaching yes. there as yes. well. You know, you know Mansha, she's an opera, uh, Chinese opera, and these are the people who graduated, and they have gone into different universities, you know, so we have a list of them. Uh, some even get scholarship to go to uh, economy, uh, major in Canada and all that. Um, so, I mean, the, the school is very big. We have 100 acres. And, uh, and this, the, the buildings are small and, and low because I plan to be able to go into all the buildings um, when they have wheelchairs. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so this is just a look of the school. And we teach everything, all kind of sports. They can choose from golf to horse riding to um, football, everything they can choose. Um, we have gifts from friends uh, so the kids can learn how to take care of horses, 
and whatever, and animals, and um, um, swimming, yoga, aquas, uh, yoga, taekwondo, whatever. <laughs> anything that uh, they ask, uh, anything that should be taught to the kids, um, and small class, small classes, no more than 15 kids, because this is how we can take care of each one of them, uh, not just academic, academically. We should be able to take care of them with their soul, their manners, their problems. Um, this is a science class. We make salted eggs, and it's sold very well in the market. You know, it is our big industry. Uh, so everything, um, bonsai, and we also have international people in New York uh, from NYU to come every year to learn with us, to learn the culture. And uh, we have the theater. And the theater, I will tell you a little later about the theater. The theater solved my problems for, for learning. This year, we have problem. Thai kids don't want to learn Thai classical dance or music anymore. Uh, so I do Ramayana. I say, any one of you who want to, 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 to do the play, you know, come. They all come, you know, because people love to be on stage. And so I say, read the play first. You know, read the play first. And, uh, and um, they, they all read the literature. This is how I get them to read literature. I teach literature. And then um, um, this, is, this is all about food. We give good food. This is very important. Kids should eat well. They shouldn't eat, <laughs> they shouldn't eat junk food. So we have fresh vegetables and fruits. We grow them. We teach them how to grow them, and we eat them. Um, nice air, nice food is part of growing up. It's not just good education. So anyway, um, I think um, that's it. It's, um, and we have a lot of lecturers, um, <clears throat> lots of activities. Of, you know him? <laughs> you know you know her? Yeah, and, and lots of going around seeing things, uh, uh, educating them, seeing things, and talking to people and doing all kinds of things. We have two videos that we did. You can have the sound with this video. Yeah. Um, the, it's, uh, every year we have what we call uh, literature, literature, music, and languages. To teach them Thai language articulately and English language. So we do Ramayana. Um, because nobody wants to do Thai classical dance anymore. Oh, so I, I said, do a play. They learn the classical dance. Yeah. So this is a Thai, uh, traditional Thai dance, right? Well, it's uh, modernized, modernized. You know, it's modernized, but, but um, they learn to sing, they learn to play the music, and they learn to act. But the most important thing, they learn the literature. This is, uh, and these are all students in many classes, in all classes. Some of them first time in, on stage, but uh, and this guy, he's um, a little retarded. Um, this is Manop, you know Manop. <laughs> we use the teachers to perform with the students, and this is how we teach. So we can look after them in behavior and explaining things, and they can they can study from our discipline. And this guy never do Thai classical dance, and now he's a great Thai classical dancer. This is how I bring them, you know, into the art. Um, by doing something modern, a little modern. Um, this, uh, she's, a, she's a teacher. Uh, we bring the teachers to, to make the mouthful of saliva, to see beautiful dances. And... Um, and we use silly things <laughs> to, <laughs> to make them laugh. And uh, this is a Ramayana story about the golden deer. Um, so we mix the classical and the modern. And this girl, 
she was singing Thai classical songs, you know, which is uh, to me learning in few months is really a, a, a great achievement for me. This is uh, how to bring them into the old art uh, without forcing them. This is uh, this is Ramayana. It's Ramayana. Yeah, we we mixing a little bit of our acrobat class, you know, with the. Okay, um, we can go to the next one. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is Manop. <laughs> he, you know, Manop. He yeah. He always um, these these kids they never play music. I mean, they have music classes. But but they they they're doing the whole the whole production. They're in the band doing the whole production. This is like every Monday rehearsal. It's a class for Thai classical dance and, and music. So uh, and at the second semester that we produce the 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 story. Uh, see another one. This is another one. This is uh, the work of. Uh, Krish, the, the, the Indian guy that I met in, in China. Yeah, and he came to teach us the Indian, this is about Buddhism time. He came to teach us the Indian dance, so we learn culture from, uh, this is Manop. Uh, we all learn Indian movements from him. So this is uh, learning culture from other countries through performances, through plays. Uh, well, we don't have to finish all this, but uh, but I want to see a little bit one, a little bit more of. Uh, and and we speak Thai and English. This is uh, this is chanting. This is an old chanting, and the kids learn how to do the video. Uh, people learn and people do what they want to do. Um, and this is an old chanting that nobody do it anymore, but we make it into a. Well, it's, it's a real chanting, but it becomes so modern that uh, they think that it's something... Yeah, th that is me. Um, I always in the play, uh, doing to oh, the, the white hair guy is you? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's my grandson. He's a, he's a, he's a musician. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, you know, he, he wants to be a musician. So uh, this is, he's going to he's going to Berkeley next year. So uh, I'm very happy. We we do this um, so that he work in a theater, and uh, this is um, you know the the, the 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 Indian have the tap. The, the, the feet thing, and we compare that with the tap, the American tap, you know, to use in the story. Anyway, I think this is enough. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.